Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make some really cool 3D looking text in Photop really easily with just a few steps. This will take your thumbnails and designs to the next level. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so once you're in Photop or at photop.com, what you're going to want to do is create a new project. The size is completely up to you. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be going with 1280 by 720, which is just the default YouTube thumbnail size. But it really doesn't matter because the text is going to be the same regardless. Now you'll be welcomed with a blank white canvas that we can start to work on. So first, let's go over here to the left and click on this text tool over here. Left click anywhere on your canvas and you will see a line appears. Then you can begin typing whatever you want. I typed in make, but you can't see it because the color of it is actually white. So double click on it or hit control A to select all the text and go up here and change the color. Now you can see it a little bit better. Now if you want to resize it, there's two ways you can do this. First way being double clicking or clicking Control A on your text and going up here to size and scaling it up. Now this caps out at 150, but you can also type in your own custom number. Or what I like to do is hit Control, Alt, and T to free transform it. Then I can resize it however big or however small I want. So we're gonna go right here and center that. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we are going to change the background color of this so we can change the color of this text here. So go over here to your right side and click on background two times. Then you can change the color of the background using the color overlay. We're just going to go with black. Well, now the text is black and the background's black so we can't see anything. So double click where your text is and change the color up here to whatever color you want. I'm going to go with green. Click OK and click that check mark. Now we're going to start working on the 3D text itself. So double click on your text layer on the right side of your screen. It will open up the layer style menu. Here you can change everything about the text. So we're going to start out with the 3D part of the text. So go down here to 3D and check that box. Now we're going to tweak a few settings in here. So just follow along and you can tweak it to your liking as well. You don't have to follow exactly what I do. I'm going to go with negative 90 degrees to start with and I'm going to go here to this color box and click on it. Select on the color of your text over here, but drag it down just a bit to make it a darker version of it. Now click OK. Now you'll see it's a little bit darker of a green. I might even go a little bit darker than that. Click OK. Now the distance is up to you. I think I'll go with about 40 and the shrink is like how far back it goes, so I might might make that about 15 ish. Okay. So now we are done with this part of the text. So click. Okay. Right click on your text and convert it to a smart object. Just know that once you get to this point, you won't be able to edit the text anymore. So make sure it says what you want it to say. Double click on that layer again, and now we can start working on it. So let's go to inner glow to begin with. Change the blend mode to color dodge. The opacity about 80 change the color of it to white and we're going to adjust the spread and size until we find what we like so about six percent spread and 31 pixel size looks pretty good might turn down the opacity a bit now go ahead and go to the satin box and check that and we're just going to adjust the opacity of it so you can see with and without it just makes it easier to read and gives it more depth. In the thumbnail, I had a drop shadow on it, but since our background is black, you will not be able to see it. So let's go ahead and change the background color for the sake of the video and change it to something else. We'll go with white for now. Double click on your text layer and go to drop shadow. Change the angle to 90 degrees. You can adjust the distance, spread, and size to your liking. This seems to look pretty good for me. And I'm going to click OK. Now that is all it takes to make some really awesome looking text. I hope you guys found this useful. You should totally use this in your videos. It'll take it to the next level and people will definitely click on your videos. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a bunch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.